Hi guys. I'm glad to see you. Thank you for creating your portraits last week and sending them to me so I could see them. I just love it when y'all share with me. Um, I'm going to remind you that um, you need to attach your picture, your composition, so I know that you have completed it. And um, even if you're not finished with something, if you can send me an attachment of where you are in the process of creating, let's say a uh, sketch or a drawing, that's helpful to Miss Walkirk. I can tell if you're having a little bit of trouble if you don't send that with me. And um, I can help you then. And you can always email me if you're having questions or you're having trouble. This week and the next couple of weeks, we're going to be working on a reverse printmaking unit. And reverse printmaking is just a process where you make a copy of a sketch that you have created. And you put ink onto a ink plate and you put a clean piece of paper down on that ink and then you put your sketch on top of that and you take a pencil and you draw the lines of your sketch and the pressure of the pencil pushing into the paper that your sketch is on and the clean paper and then the ink pulls the ink up from below onto the clean piece of paper and it makes a copy of your sketch. Now, the subject matter of our sketches is going to be escape, not escape, but escape. And scape is just a view. So you can create a landscape, which is a picture or a view of land. You can do a cityscape, which is a view of the city. You can do a seascape, which is a view of the sea or the ocean. You have a choice. The other sketch we're going to work on, but not next week, is a portrait, a self-portrait, which you will have no trouble completing because you've already cre created a portrait. So you have already practiced that. But this coming week, we're going to work on a picture or a view of land, city, or the sea. Now you're going to need an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And you're going to want to create a landscape. Or this might be a combination of landscape and seascape. Or a cityscape. And you will notice that these letters are readable. But if you were to look at this composition like I'm looking at it, those letters have been drawn backwards because you're reversing the picture. So if you put letters and words in your composition, they have to be backwards. And the easiest way to do that is to write the word out, hold your composition up to a mirror and then copy the way the letters look in the mirror and then put them onto your sketch. That's just a trick, an artist's trick. Here is a reverse print of a cityscape. And all those lines were created by pressing against the lines of a sketch into a clean sheet of paper that was on top of black ink. And do you remember this sketch right here? Well, look what I have. I have the copy of it. <gasps> look at this. Oh, wait a minute, let's think. That piece of paper was probably turned this way. And this was on top of the paper like that. And when you drew it and turned it over, it was opposite. Isn't that interesting? Here's another city, oh, excuse me, oceanscape. And I like that one because it has the fish in it. Y'all are going to recognize this one. Isn't that cool? 
I like the little boats that are floating around the water. And actually, guys, when you're doing reverse printmaking, the more lines you can have, the more interesting your print's going to be because the lines are what really show up. You will get some black ink on here, and you can do you can actually press on the um, sketch that you're working on, that you're tracing. And when you push down on your sketch, you kind of blot the ink up onto the clean piece of paper. And sometimes you can get some gray like that. I think that's really pretty. So, eight and a half by 11, fill it up. My students, last year outlined with black ink a black sharpie marker just so they could see the lines better if you've got one that's a good trick and you can also add color to it if you have a little bit of extra time and you want to do that if you have any questions email me and there's some slides you can look at these examples are there just so you can see what some other students have already created I'll be glad to help you. So please, please, if you need help, email me and I will get back to you. Y'all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you later on.